Okay, you guys. Hi. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Is my pinky? <laughs> it looks so much better in a dark room. <laughs> but, anyways. We need to talk about this ritual. Okay, so I just finished performing my ritual. And so now that I can share it with you. Yeah. It's Halloween. Okay, it's Halloween. And the gift that you want to give. Oh, oh, look at my little pumpkin. She's hungry. Yes, I know, I know. There you go. Yes. Mm-hmm. Go eat. Just open the oven. You just go, go over there and eat. Success as a woman. Only be successful at your business is to be successful at your body. The better I become better with myself and my body, give myself the ultimate best. As long as I have a thriving body, I can have a thriving business, I can have a thriving husband, a uh, marriage, a thriving um, child connection, right? Parent child relationship, all of those things, right? So. I gotta get myself together Cause I got some place to go I don't know it till I get there I'll see everyone I know I'm gonna go to heaven 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 There is no product on here. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to put it in a ponytail. I don't really want to have it wet. I don't want to have no headaches. I'll probably, because the weather, with the weather predictability and changing drastically throughout the day, you don't want to give yourself a head cold. So, I might. Just take a shower, wet it back up, and then blow dry it. Again, and then go from there. See what? I think I'm going to do like a natural high bun again. I like that look on me. There's something that's simple that I could pull my hair up real quick instead of having it take such a long time to slick it in a bun. You see the two tones, the two colors. I'm gonna do blue. I'm gonna blue my, my bleach my tips blue. It's gonna be so sexy.
Okay, so, um, ooh, especially when it's pressed. Ooh, nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, so, um, getting back into this ritual. So, I can't help bring a nigga to you. I cannot draw a nigga to you. I'm not going to help you with how to allure and suck in a nigga. But what I can absolutely, 1000% truly vouch for is how to get rid of a man okay that's the one thing i know i have certified okay phd in getting rid of a man so in this energy we are putting to rest r.i.p toxic relationships people who disturb our peace especially in a romantic sense and again comes You stink, Mama. Yeah, you do. She do. <laughs> so, um, this how she like reeks a scent. And it just gets a whiff in my nose. And I feel like, oh. Okay, but anyway, let's get it back, back into business. Okay, so see, so I take me serious with these glasses. Okay, so like I said, I cannot help you lure a man in, but I can help you get rid of a man. And so, in this energy, we are getting rid of pests, men who disturb our peace that we know. We know they don't have any good intentions for us. They just they just want to possess us because of the fact that we don't want them. But the second, the second you want them, that's when they they would have flipped the switch. Okay? But in the meantime, between time, they're just adamant at wanting to get the prize. Wanting to get the thing that serves their ego of getting you to fall for one of their tricks and so we're just over it right we're over it we want to put it to rest rest in peace we want to put it in the grave we want to put that situation we want to put the bond the memories all of those things in the grave six feet under okay and so we're going to be doing a ritual now this is all your energy like i was telling you so you're going to be honoring all your and so what I did, I had started this ritual this weekend, started it off. You can take your time. And you're just leading it up. Do it whenever you feel called to start and just lead it up to Halloween if you feel like it, right? Just You just have it to the time frame of the first. This is the most potent time you could do it. You bring it, give it to the dead. And make it be a spirit too, okay? So you're going to get you some white wine, some red wine. You're gonna drink you some red white wine first. You're gonna give you to give give your offering. You put some to the side and you're gonna also pour some into the earth. That's the libation, that's the offering. And you're gonna drink and consume all of the, the alcohol. However long you consume it, you need to finish the, the alcohol by Halloween. Finish the white wine first and then open up the the red wine. Take a break, a day or two, and then if you feel called then drink the white wine. Make sure you stay hydrated the whole time. Drink your water. Don't be driving. Then you're going to drink the red wine. Again, you're going to repeat the, the ritual. You're going to pour out some, and you're going to pour out. Now, if the individual, if the individual 
is a person you see in person, if you run into this person all the time or something, then when you're around them, you want to pour out some white wine when you're there with them. I'm a red wine when you're there with them. But if not, just pour it out. You good. You, that's just a little extra little kick you want to do. But that's only if it's safe. Right? So like if they pop up to your house and you're drinking some red wine. Holding red wine when you're with them. And then pour it out. As a libation. It should really be in front of your house. Like you're protecting. You even protected that spot. Because that spot is always open. Every time that he comes, that spot is always open. He always takes that spot. So you have to, have to kill it over there too and protect that spot from him too. He'll never have a, a space to park. Now, then if you have, if your room is messy, you need to clean up your room. So as you're cleaning up your room, you're going to tear out a piece of white paper. You're going to put the person's first and last name. Trust. Spirit will bring the opportunity for you to see their last name. I didn't know homie's last name until I saw it. It just caught my eye. And today it was like coming in. Put it there. Before I write their name, get you some blue polish. Remember, we wear pink on Wednesday. So you want to do this on a Wednesday. Wednesdays are ancestral days. You want to do things on a Wednesday. We wear pink on Wednesday. Remember, you are just a girl. Remember that. I am I am just a girl and I just don't understand why he just keeps bothering me. He just keeps calling me. And I just want him to stop and I just don't know what to do. Like I don't want to be mean and I don't want to be I'm just a girl. Like I just don't know. Like I just he take this take and says that I want, that he wants me. That I want him, but I'm just being nice, me and kind because if I'm rude, then it's going to escalate to something else. I just try to be protected, but he's taking me into different gestures. She just keeps calling, I don't answer. I'm just a girl. You're just a girl. And we wear pink on Fridays on Wednesdays. Because you're just a girl. You're just a girl. And so you're gonna continue your just a girl thing. And so you get your blue polish. You get your new blue nail polish that you have. You can use your blue eyeshadow because we're Barbie girls. We have the Barbie kit. You have it in your house. I know you do. I know you do. You don't? So I did blue because I wanted the protections of the Crips. Crip walk on that ass. Stomp that ass, okay? May the Crip stomp that ass. And so because the crib is stumping the, that ass, I put blue. My cousin, I did the white wine because of my cousin. She is a creep. And if you don't have a cousin, and everybody has a cousin in the gang, but you should know what set your cousins to rep. So you have cousins, especially those that you have pat, that passed away, rep the set. You might have red. But you want blue because you want it to be cool. You want a cool situation. You just want it to pass away. You're not trying to do war. Red is death and slasher. That's very. That's a violent thing. You don't want to do that. We're just a girl. We just want him to go away. And so we're doing blue. Calm water. Yemaya. Blue. Okay. Let the mother handle it. I'm telling your mother. Type of thing. You know what I mean? And so... Blue. I put some blue on the white piece of paper that I took out of my Barbie notebook. Okay, I took it out of my Barbie notebook and I put out a piece of white paper and I put the, the blue <laughs> nail polish on the paper. And then under it, I put their name in blue. I have blue paint marker. You have a blue Sharpie, a blue color pencil, a blue crayon, blue honor makeup girls what do you have <laughs> brightest name full name then I put Psalms 23 I just put Psalms 23 Psalms 23 Psalms 23 three times on the paper then I got the paper and I folded it away from me because I want him to move away from me <laughs> 
go away from me <laughs> okay and so i folded it i folded it and i made it into a little a little it was, it was a heart okay so the, i ended up tearing it and it was turned into a heart because you know niggas fall in love and i understand i understand that's why we're coming in compassion and understanding he's just in love and i'm sorry i know i know i know everybody nobody everybody is not lucky to have this not everybody gets the winner the second place doesn't get the prize right like sorry not everybody can win i you did get a participation trophy which was the gucci and that was maybe that was too much that might have been too much a little quickie was a little too much and i shouldn't have i shouldn't have you know i shouldn't have i shouldn't have when you know it was that um let him be you know his finger got all into the proverbial waters the primordial waters you know it got all you know got all on that day he was pleased very well so i understand both times he he spent time with me when we were going on a date i understand like he he had the full experience and i didn't just and he just only got a little taste like that that was even i'm like that wasn't even my best work like you know what i mean like this isn't even could you imagine what would happen if i liked you and so i get it i understand he never received that some of these men they never received the love and the nurturance from their mothers and so when they finally gotten the thing that they've been yearning for for years and years and years from their mamas and they never received it and they have gotten to this it's it's like i never want to let it go and it's kind of like of my sinning It's like of mice and men. When he loved the rat so much, and it was like it, it's like just just a day when she what did she have? Did she have was it a dog or a cat? And Nick said, No, you do too much. You're gonna love it a little too much. It's it's that like you love it so much that you kill it. And so, we got to calm that down. We got to calm, calm that love down. Bring Ocean Moana into that heart. Moana got to go into that fiery furnace of the heart and, and, and put the diamond back into making it green. But it ain't me. I, I'm more of the chicken. <laughs> I get very much chicken energy. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't I look like a chicken today? chicken head <laughs> okay it's not me <laughs> it's not me and so i am not i am not saving up for tt in his heart and so i had to calm him down so i folded the paper and it made a little a little thing origami okay get some little japanese or little cultural references okay I put it in my sandal. I put it in my sandal. I put my headphones on. I grabbed my Swiffer. I sprinkled and marinated the, the floor with Fabuloso. And I started to clean while I listened to Bugaboo. And I listened to the H-Town remix just to be a little specific about my, about my ritual. And baby, I danced, and I cleaned, and I danced, and I cleaned, and I danced. I danced, and I cleaned. Because I'm just a girl, and I do what women are supposed to be doing, right? We are meant to be in the house cleaning, cooking and cleaning, so I cleaned. So you're either going to cook or you're going to clean when you do this ritual. But make sure your house is clean. Clean up the mess. Organize your, your stuff, because you don't want this to be a messy situation. You don't want a messy situation. You just want a nice, clean getaway. That's why it's nice and clean. 
okay? It's nice and clean. Then you clean, you dance. Okay, then I listened to, because I was still there, but I was just roaming, moseying around. And so once I started moseying and around and stuff, forgetting that the thing is in my shoe, I listened to Kali. Uh, because remember, Kali, Kali Ma, is the demon slayer. She slays the demons. She like she is the protector. She is our deity, our Hindu deity. Okay, so we listened to some Kali. And so I listened to her miracles because we have to restore our faith <laughs> in our whole faith, okay? <laughs> we have to restore the faith in our whole faith, okay? We didn't, we didn't God, you know, we didn't have one hiccup, but you know what? That's the human experience. And so we, we're going to continue to carry on. Just because we had one bad apple don't mean it spoils the bunch. We didn't have some good lovers. And he took good care of us. And he left us the fuck alone. Just cause that one is the stray. He won't mess it up for everybody else. Okay? And so we had to restore our faith. We're gonna get to a, we got a white boy on our, lo, on our roster. We got our new candidate. <laughs> now I gotta find out how I gotta dress Letting that one in. I think I'm on my way because he never lets me leave the dispensary. Now, if I could just get some free weed out of him. <laughs> but a po' boy is, is, is enough. A po' boy, but, uh, I'm not greedy. A po' boy is, is good enough for me. Okay? A po' boy, a Louisiana po' boy in Chinatown is something that I want to experience. So he has to give me that experience. Okay, I gotta have it. I don't know why. I just have, I just feel like my tongue needs that experience. Y'all know I like to eat. <laughs> right. <laughs> and so, yes. So I had to restore my faith in humanity. So you have to restore your faith. Because you're just a girl. You're just a girl, okay? Everything just caused and... <sighs> right? And so, like I said, with every creep, there's a protector around. You always have your protectors around. There are men who love you that would just protect you, and there's men who wants to possess you. Okay? So, anyways... Yeah, I just did this for extra because I just felt like I needed a pimp. Just in case I need a pimp. Just in case I need a pimp. Just in case. Just in case. So, um. <laughs> okay. So, lastly. And all the things. Um. I don't know what to say. Oh, my last thing of the ritual. So then I take it out. I found I listen to area codes and I drift off, you know, because we're just a girl. We're just we have ADHD a little bit, so we daydream. So you gotta daydream. And so after that, and dance to that, you know, you take it out of your sandal and then you're gonna flush it. As you're putting it in the toilet and you're about to get ready to flush this paper down, you're going to listen to Flush 'em by Kali. <laughs> Such a good song. Flush it. So you didn't flush this man out, out of your energy, out of your aura, out of just everything. He is free. He has gone down the drain. Okay? Nemo. Okay? He's at the bottom of the ocean. Okay? Yeah. What did you do? Some, some wall away, Sydney. <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's where he's at. <laughs> so, yeah, 42 wall away, Sydney. <laughs> Okay. Okay. And we ain't trying to find this Nemo. Hell no. Okay. So, now that we are one core, the ritual is over. Okay. But if you wanted to, you could use herbs of rosemary, things like that, and cook you a, a good, delicious red meat dish. You want to do a red meat, make you a steak. Okay. 
Now, I just did a pork chop. That's just chill. That's very chill. You know, you just, you slay a pig and eat some bacon. You're just gonna make some bacon out of that, okay? But, if he's, if this is a serious case of domestic violence, we're gonna take it up a notch, okay? If he's putting his hands on you, then you're going to need to change the color from blue to red, okay? Red. You might need to, you're not going to listen to no Destiny Child. You're not going to wear, you know, pink. You're going to be wearing you some black or you're going to wear you some red. I would love a sexy red, honey. Listen to you some sexy red if it gets down to that. And you're going to wear you some red. And you're going to call the blood. So right now, while it's chill, the crib can handle it. Because remember, we got a nigga, we got a crib, we got a blood. Now our blood, our blood not going to come for little shit. That's the crip will come for, for the little shit. The blood, if it gets down to it, the blood is when it's very serious and you're like, and you call the blood and you're just like, oh, I'm dead ass scared. But just with a little shenanigans, Mr. Girl, the crip can handle that. Okay? The crip can handle that. It could be crippled the situation. It cripples the energy. It calms it down to where it's like, okay, now I can have it manageable. Because it's starting, the waves are starting to crash a little too uncontrollably. So we're bringing it back to the shore. We're bringing it back, calming it down. It was getting a little too comfortable. That's why you were putting it in a shoe. This is just light magic. This is just, you're just annoying me. I just need you to stop calling me all the time. I just really want you to, I just want us to be breaking free. That's really, I just want that. But when you gotta go red and you gotta send a sexy red, that's when you gotta eat you a steak. That's when we're gonna eat us a steak, medium rare, okay, for Kali. Then we're gonna have to listen to the heavy hitters. We're gonna listen to a little Mozzie, okay? So, this week, we're just cooling the waters down. We're just calming things down. We're de-escalating the situation. But on Halloween, be prepared if you have to be red. Because pink can turn to red for the painters. But red can turn to pink with a little white in it. All is fair in love and war. All is fair in love and war. And see, this is why I keep telling y'all, love is not a game to be playing with. And y'all need to stop playing these little games because it's getting dangerous and it's getting very serious because people's traumas are really prevalent even more so now, especially next year. Next year, you do not want to play with nobody that you are not genuinely interested in and is genuinely interested in you. You don't genuinely want to build something serious with each other. The Hierophant is next year. We only entertain the Hierophant next year. So this year, you could still be able to kind of like get a nigga away from you through sweetness. But next year, you would have to go to war. And so in order to not go to war, let's end these things now where we can end with sweetness and it could just dissolve. And so I had to do the ritual now so then I could text him and be like, hey, da 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 and it's not gonna work, blah, 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 blah. I hope all is well with you. Peace and love, Evers. That way we could be like, hey, I just really, blah, 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 and we could go there, and they'll actually get the hint and actually leave you alone. But if it comes to a point where it's like, no, like this man is about to kill me, you are not, you are not going to kill that man. They do. There's no laws and protections that protect you as a woman in the best in domestic violence. They do not count that as self-defense. They will fuck you over in jail, and you will do life sentences. We will do magic. This is when you become a witch. This is when you become an occultist. Not when a bitch is talking about you. We don't give a fuck about that. I'm for some nigga, we just like his dick. 
he ain't doing that. But if a man is really about to kill you, or a person, anybody is really about to kill you, you bring the heavy hitters out. You do what you gotta do. And that's giving the permission for the spirit team to do what they gotta do. You keep your hands clean. Your hands clean, sissy. Same with you, as a guy. Right now, pull it off with this little psycho bitch. Bitches is crazy too. Why are y'all calling these niggas so fucking much too? Just because they don't know what they're doing, don't mean they're not just because you, if you and a person decide to romantically be together, it does not give you entitlement to them. They don't have to talk to you when they don't want to talk to you. They don't have to call or answer when they don't want to. They got other shit. They have their own life. It should be a joy and a treat to talk to you, not a burden, not a, I have to. That's not cute. Never have, ever been. Get some help. These girls, too. So do what you gotta do, sir. Put on a bugaboo. You got a pink panther. I want to watch the pink panther. I never really watched it. Is it on Disney Plus? I'm gonna see. I hope the Beyonce version. <laughs> Cause that other version. <laughs> oh, I remember. I wanted to see the so every time I wanted to see a movie and I went with my ex-boyfriend, he was always distracted and always wanted to be very sexual in the movie, right? And so at that time I didn't understand that this boy wanted to just have sex with me, right? At that time, you know, you're you're young, so you're thinking like mm. Right, so I was here, right? This is the person I lost my virginity to. Head over heels, hun. But every time we went to the movies and we was going to go see something that I really wanted to see, right? So we was able to go see what I really wanted to see, but I never got to see what I wanted to see. So I never got to see the movie. So we went to go see Pink Panther, but most of the time we were in the movie, we were in the walkway making out. But I really wanted to see the movie. But I get it, hormones. But at the same time, I was like, nigga, I'm gonna want to see movie. But that I, it really should have been showed like, girl, this boy just wanna fuck you. Wake up, wake up, wake up, baby. He don't really care for you. I know you have something important things to do. Wake up, wake up. Oh. Right, wake up. That's why I told y'all about this one right here that's acting up. He's so sexual. It's like you just, it's a sexual thing. And it's like, I get it. And we had the sexual exchange. But after that sexual exchange, I don't want him no more. And I understand that from a male perspective being the person who wanted wanted the person that just really just wanted sex it's crazy it's a damn if you do damn if you don't you're not fucked up for that 
But your fucked up back is when you be having all these relationships and you're getting these girls all into their feelings and you're you're the one gaslighting them and telling them all these things and doing all these things to pretend like you're really into them. To get the sex. To get the pussy. That's when you're fucked up. And you got you're in a serious relationship and you're talking to another girl pretending like you want her to be in a serious relationship with her. That's fucked up. Especially if you're playing on those like marriage and family planning and all of those things with a person, it's fucked up. But when you just want to have sex, you're not a fucked up person because you just want to fuck somebody. You feel that you're sexually attracted to them. And you're not fucked up because they want, wanted something more. It's charging to the end. That's part of the gamble of having sex with somebody. Someone's bound to catch feelings. And it's not always the girl. It's not always the girl. So. He might be strong. He might be in love. He's in love with the stripper. Cause I popped it a roll it. I strolling, I slid it down in that hole. He was with the free spirit. He was with a freak. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a girl. <laughs> you know, I'm just a girl. And so that's why I had to do that ritual. But if it's nothing, as long as it's nothing harmful, I ain't gotta do the red. Like a red Tesla just came by. I ain't gotta do the red. Get it sexy. <laughs> Boy, you know this is super fair. I ain't lying, dude. Like me good while I know it and she bad. I'm his favorite hoe. Okay, this is yeah. So yeah. And don't be stingy, bitch. If your homegirl is fits better with a nigga that you was fucking around with once, hook her up with your homeboy. Home with the with the dude. Don't be stingy. Fellas. I'm here to help you find your wives. It's time, Papas, it's time. That your next level, where you need to be next, you need to be with your wife. No more with these little hoish, sad, fast girls. You need to focus. But yeah, so I never got to see high school, high school musical, the third one. Okay, the third one, I had to watch it. I wanted to see it on the big screen. Went to see it on the big screen. And the dude is just running up and down the movie theater, yelling, being, causing ruckus. Like, I'm really surprised we didn't get kicked out of that movie theater. I was like, what in the, what in the monkey? But at that time, I was what? 15. I thought that was just so. He's so bold. He's so embarrassing. And that boy had a lot of attention speak seeking behaviors. our tobacco offering.
Disneyland says cookie dolls. I want to go to Disneyland. But I want to go with a guy that's fun and childish like me. And they'll pay for the tickets. And for my mini out the hat. My mini ears. Almost mini ears. I want a lollipop. I want a cotton candy. If it's a cold day, a beer. Have a bunk ready for me. Smoke me out. Feed me. He really gonna do his big one if he take me to both parks. Get the fast lane. I might get with my last. I'm just gonna. <laughs> get me in the fast lane. Don't let it be a day that kids aren't there. Don't let it be a day that kids are there, aren't there. And it's an empty day, just randomly. It is a gloomy day. Oh. Sloppy toppy. I'll take these nails off for that day. Take these nails off for that day. <laughs> and for Disneyland, both parks. And pay for parking. And pay me. We don't even have to eat at Disneyland. We do not have to even eat at Disneyland. Okay, we can go somewhere else. Like the boys said, the, the Chinatown is a Chinese food place, restaurant I want to go to. There's a Korean restaurant I want to go to. There's a, <laughs> there's so many restaurants that I want to go to that I've been put, put it on that I want to try some food at. There's a Thai restaurant I want to go to. I said I was gonna take dating advice from um, from the the gay guy, dating coach guy, but I might have to go watch his video on how to capture white men real quick. Cause I got a restaurant, but he gotta be the one to pay, and that's what he not giving me that he will pay and treat. He not giving that energy, but I want some men that pay. That will pay for us to go eat at a restaurant now. I know I said I didn't want no more restaurants. I know that what I said. But what I was really meaning is I don't want no fancy restaurant. I want to go somewhere where I could eat with my mouth. My food. With my mouth. With my hands. I want some Moroccan food. I want some cultural food. I want some Indian food. But I want it from some good hidden spot that nobody knew about. That's not commercial. Foodies. The manifesting. Foodies. That would love to eat just like me. And like a girl that like to eat. Just like me. Okay. So that's why we have to do the ritual. Because we still continue to manifest. We do not want to pay for nothing. Okay? Not a, a damn I don't want to pay for a damn thing. <laughs> But I want to experience some more things. And I don't like my homegirls treating. I don't like a woman tricking for me. Like, I don't know. And maybe I need to get past it. Maybe I do need to get past it. And let women pay too. Let some women take me out. Okay. I'll eat and eat. Okay. I eat and eat two for one special two dinners in one night okay the dinner and the dessert <laughs> okay a little bit softy dish so we just have to pull one down so we they could go in peace and exit stage left 
To the left, to the right Everything you own in a box to the left There's no question, that's my style If I call it, please don't judge And can you talk it like this? It's fine, but when you walk and talk at the same time It's my name, it's on that thing Can you open your bags and I'll call you a cab Same as the two boys smell Talking about, I ain't never ever had anything like you. The guy between the skin, you must know about me. You must not know about me. I can have any love in you, and I'm not a fact. Here we are in the middle, baby. Listen, I've been needing to have my weed because I've been needing to shut the fuck up. Look, weed helps me shut the fuck up. It helps me not give a fuck. But when I don't smoke is when I, my mouth starts to talk. And I think the thing is that we really don't need me to be talking sometimes because I tell the truth. So, and I say things in the wrong way and I say it so blunt and so wrongly comical. But when I smoke, I don't know, I'm a better people person. I'm a people person when I smoke. I thought he got it in the car and now he waiting. I'm gonna kick him out of the car. I drove off. get into kid shit because I'll be wanting to rescue kids but I ain't got nowhere to take them to <laughs> I can't raise y'all kids but it's like that what y'all be doing to these kids get it together be healthy for y'all kids Hello kitty, child. Hello kitty. Okay, it's two of them. They ain't wrong. They look bad anyway. They'll fight for their life. <laughs> They'll fight. They good. Get a play, but oh, okay. That's all I wanted to say, real quick. Let's see if I can go on the way.